Let's see what I got. Lord have mercy, Todd is a runaway slave. Let's see what I got. You don't know nobody get me nothing anyway. Extra medium. Extra medium. <laughs> you ain't got to have something for the skinny niggas. Santa Claus up here grab me some wallets, cigarette lighters, some car keys. You stole the show in Friday after in Friday after next. Yeah. How was that? Lying to you about it. Go you gonna set the record straight? Are you kidding me? You let Ricky Smiley sit here and you said out that mouth, you stole Friday after next, the one I was in. <laughs> I wish all, all of America fumbled a bit when that happened. And, and then he said some stuff that we haven't heard in 100 years in Hollywood. Hey, you ain't no, say nothing. This man. Mike. The uh, thieving ass Mike. Santa Claus. <laughs> right. And then, yeah, because Cat Williams was going to be the Santa Claus. Right. And then, uh, and they switched it over. Right. Because I, when I auditioned, I auditioned for Mighty Mike. Right. You know, so when I went in there to audition, I'm at the toilet. Uh, when, when Cat Williams went, right. went to use the bathroom, right. that was, that was, that's the line I had to use to audition. So they That Ricky up. Smiley so, was going to play Money Mike. No one ever saw me put on a Santa Claus suit. We got a wardrobe department. They made a Santa Claus suit for me. Why that wasn't in the bloopers? Why? <laughs>
big arenas, but I, I pack up those theaters and, 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 and have to add shows and comedy clubs in between radio and all of that and raising the family I'm comfortable with. What, what makes me sad, um, I don't like the way that made my kids feel, and that's why I'm not going to, you know, uh, go after him because uh, he has kids and, and family members and nieces and nephews also, and it hurts. Uh, our family members and people that do love us when we say hurtful things about each other. So uh, we want to wish Cat Williams the best or whatever. It ain't nothing but love over here just because we don't agree. Arnez J and I had beef for uh, about 20 years, and I end up sitting next to him on a plane. And when I saw him, I couldn't do nothing but grab him and hug You know where you've been, but you don't know where you're going, and you don't know who you're going to need. And I promise to God, if, 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 if there's anything that he or anybody in his family on his staff ever need, we'll be there. You know, because I stick up for comics and, and we all are not perfect and we all don't get along all the time or whatever. We all have issues, but at the same time, we are all in the same game. Let's get right. Make sure you take a break and hit that subscribe button, like and share and comment. Right. I, when I auditioned, I auditioned for Mighty Mike. Right. You know, so when I went in there to audition, I'm at the toilet. Uh, when, when Cat Williams went, right. went to use the bathroom, right. that was, that was, that's the line I had to use to audition. So they switched it up. So I'm like, yeah, I can do this Santa Claus role uh, Friday, uh, you know, and, but I didn't know that because I did my role like in four days. Right. They shot all my stuff in four days. I went back to Birmingham came back out because they changed the ending. Did you right. know that? Right. No, I didn't. No, you know the ending, but they got to fighting or right. whatever. The ending was me giving out, Santa Claus giving out. Years Christmas. in Hollywood, you ain't say nothing. But this man told you he had Cat Williams' role. He was going to be Money Mike. Wait. And Cat Williams was going to be fr was gonna be the Santa Claus. Now, let's, three quick points. Three quick points. You gonna be fr was going to be the Santa Claus. Now, let's, three quick points. Three quick points. You mean in Hollywood, they cast a five foot five black Santa Claus that weigh 145 pounds. That's your story. Your story is the Ricky Smiley that couldn't even do curse words because he had a Christian fan base. He was going to play the pimp. Why you didn't ask him why has he played a woman in more movies than he's played a man? Well, I didn't know he, he shouldn't be able. You wouldn't let a, 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 a athlete that been on steroids talk about one of the greats. <laughs> Ricky Smiley can't act because Ricky Smiley can't act. Got your folks over here in the background laughing. <laughs> you need to fire every last one of them. But uh, <laughs> I, I do everything sports based. Okay. So I, I get motivated and get excited and go on stage and 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 kill it. You mentioned your. Uh, but I do have dancing heat. What? So Ricky Ricky Smiley knows this is because well why would he lie? I don't know why liars lie, but I can tell you this. We auditioned in Los Angeles. Yes. I was audition number 201. 200 black comedians auditioned for the role of Money Mike with me. You're saying all 201 of us was auditioning and you had already had the role and had already shot the role in four days? The truth of the matter is, the Money Mike in the original script got raped in the bathroom. And that's what Ricky Smiley was okay with. Cat Williams had to take the risk in front of the studios and the cast and our powers that be in his very first movie and say respectfully, humbly, guys, if we're talking about anything else, I have no credibility and I have no pull.